Step three, problem analysis and breakdown. There are three main stages to this step. First stage is break down the gap and finding the point of cause. The second one then is summarizing that to a problem to pursue, the what, where and when. And thirdly, establishing the direct causes. Step three is a very important step as you're breaking down the gap from step one into something you can tackle, but it takes time to do. It's the same as a doctor who carries out a diagnostics of your issues by asking a series of questions and using facts and data from tests to focus on your problem to treat. You will need to focus on getting the right data in order to break down the gap correctly. To fully understand what is happening, you need to use an inch wide, mile deep approach. Ensure you have the facts and don't jump to solutions. I think that is not a fact, it's just an opinion. Problem solving tools are available to aid your analysis and you will learn about these later on in the course. Also, visualization of the data and facts is key as it creates alignment around the problem and ensures the focus on the biggest impact or contribution to the gap. Remember, breaking down the gap is so important as it focuses our efforts on the right things. You can't do everything. Next, is finding the point of cause. We find this to understand where and when our problem really happens. You must do this through go see on the real situation, just like a crime scene investigator. Work back through the process steps to try to focus the activity on a specific point where the problem starts. We then need to summarize this into a problem to pursue. This is the what, where and when of the problem. Using data and the point of cause, you can define the problem to pursue. The problem to pursue is the problem you will try to solve, not the large vague problem or gap stated in step one. This is the contribution to closing that gap. After the stating the problem to pursue, you will then need to establish the direct causes to that problem to pursue. Establishing direct causes of the problem needs to be done through proven data or experiment. It's like a light switch. You turn the cause off, the effect stops. Every effect has a cause. This is what you will see. You use data to establish the direct causes or use an Ishikawa or fishbone diagram to structure, structure ideas. This is structured brainstorming. Prove which one are causes and which aren't. Direct causes should be clearly summarized and proven. This is what you want to prevent from reoccurring. Remember, some key points to step three. Data proves your thinking and visualization of the data drives alignment. Avoid guessing and I think and go see and understand the real situation. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest lean content.